In this screencast, uh, we'll uh, start talking about um, another prominent uh, proof technique in uh, uh, theoretical computer science, which is called induction. So, um, an inductive proof uh, tries to prove this universally quantified statement for all n, s of n, where uh, n is a natural number and uh, s is a uh, statement. s of n is a statement that depends on n. So here's one way of thinking about um, induction and inductive proof. So imagine that we have an infinite sequence of dominoes on a uh, desktop. So these are um, dominoes, 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 and so forth. So infinitely many of those dominoes. And uh, this sequence of dominoes can be brought into one-to-one uh, -one correspondence with uh, natural numbers. 0, 1, 2, 3, uh, n domino number, um, let's say Google, 1 followed by 100 zeros and so forth. Uh, so this is infinite, infinite sequence of uh, dominoes. So suppose that um, I want to convince you that uh, all of these dominoes uh, will fall. So how can I do that? Well, um, let's engage in this uh, thought experiment. Uh, first of all, I would like to, um, all right, and um, in, in this case, our S of n um, is the same as domino n, domino number n. And I would like to convince you that um, S of n is true for all n, and from 0 up to infinity. So how can I do that? Well, I have to be able to convince you that S of 0 is true, so that chain reaction will start somewhere. And, you know, you can uh, take a look at me and say that I am strong enough to knock the first domino off. Okay, and but number two, I have to convince you that if the uh, domino number, if domino number n falls, then the next domino will also fall. And perhaps I can take you to a physics lab and with a couple of dominoes and demonstrate repeatedly that uh, if the first domino falls, the next one also falls. So, but these are the two statements that I have to um, be able to show. The first one is uh, called the base, and the second one, in the second statement, uh, this statement S of n is often called hypothesis or inductive hypothesis. So you may frequently encounter inductive proofs uh, that state by the inductive hypothesis, and so on and so forth. So that's that's what they mean. They assume that Sn is true and try to prove that Sn plus 1 is true. So what we get in this case is a sequence of statements. So we start from S0, and S0 is true. I knock the first domino off. And then um, since I proved the second statement, I know that if S0 is true, if domino 0 falls, then domino number 1 falls, so S1 is true. 
and if S1 is true, then S2 is true, domino number 2. False. And then if domino number 2 falls, S2 is true, then S of 3 is true, domino number 3 falls, and so forth, and so forth, infinite. And so, by using this reasoning, I will be able to show that for all n, right, S of n is true. So, and that's when I can conclude that for all n, S of n, domino number n, false.